I got a question recently on one of the videos and they asked about this big laptop. This is not too big. It's just a thick laptop. It's a 14 inch Lenovo T440P. From, this is like 10 or more years old now at this point. It's a very old laptop. Someone asked, is this still relevant today? Because I made a video a few years ago that's gotten several hundred thousand hits about how to upgrade this and make it really nice. Upgrade the screen to 1080p. Upgrade the CPU to a fancy fast i7. Um, upgrade, hello, what was that in racket? There we go. Upgrade the screen to 1080p. We upgraded the RAM. We have, what are you doing? It's dead. I think it's dead. Thanks to Hookies for sponsoring this video. You can get 25% off Windows and Office with coupon code TS25. So they've got Windows 10 Pro, they've got Home, you've got Windows 11, Office 2021, 2019, and this is the one I use, 2016, because it still works very well. Putting in coupon code TS25, click apply, and then watch these prices come down. Wonderful. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here, go to your user center, click on my purchase orders, and then you'll see everything you've purchased right there. Just view keys and codes, and you can just copy and paste your key, hit start, type activate, click on activation settings, paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated. You know, I never liked how Microsoft has different prices for different people. If you're a home user, you're going to pay 10 times more than an OEM builder or a corporation or something like that. And that's why I like heading to places like whokies.com to get the OEM keys so I can pay a price that makes sense. So thanks to them for sponsoring and now to our regularly scheduled program. Um, so let's just open it up and see how much stuff costs right now. All right, I'll just grab one that looks like it's in good shape. We'll just do this for the sake of argument, 121.60. Any shipping? No, free shipping. Okay, good. And then we're going to need the CPU. The 4910MQ is the one that does not get so hot that it overheats and then throttles. This one is the one I have in my unit. It's a good one. And we need an M.2 for the inside. Must be SATA. There are not that many of them out there on the market. We have a couple different options here. This 256 one, you can put a couple in there. So whatever. But this one's probably the better deal. Yeah, this one's definitely the better deal. This transcends, so I'm just going to go ahead and... That's weird. The 512 is cheaper on both of these, so just go for the 512. Why? Why? Then we need some RAM. So right there it is. Um, this is hard to find, but it's usually under 100 bucks. So we've got 50. If you want to touch bad, if you want to upgrade, you can. And you want to get the synaptic one. And I've got a video on this, so I'm not going to cover everything. I've included this if you want to swap out the CD DVD ROM you can swap it out for this and install an extra SSD and then when it comes to screen you're gonna need one of those all right so let's do the math here really quickly I'll just do it and then tell you what it is we're at 416 without the RAM so if you get one that already has 16 gigabytes of RAM this one only has 8 and it's 121 so so that I had like 50 bucks I'm just being a little rough here so we're right around 466 for this computer with all the upgrades you don't have to get them all. That included the touchpad, which that's, I didn't do it on mine because I just unhooked my touchpad. I don't use it. I use a mouse because I hate touchpads. So if you don't do the touchpad, you'll save 20 something dollars. If you are okay without a backlit keyboard, then you can save another 20 something dollars, uh, $27, I think to be exact. Um, if you don't need hard drive upgrades, etc., you can sort of piecemeal it together and get exactly what you want but I really recommend the screen upgrade and it's not too difficult to do if you follow the video I made uh, a few years ago. So 466, now what can you get for around 466? So there's always a sale going on. So if I had to buy a, a new laptop right now, I would probably look to spending a little bit more money. The problem is it only has eight gigabytes of RAM and it's soldered. So if you want 16 gigabytes of RAM, you gotta go up in price. And that kind of bothers me. Eight gigs of RAM is okay for a lot of stuff. You know, the new versions of Windows do a pretty good job, but that's not really enough for most of us power users. And you can have a lot more RAM with the older laptop and you can really configure it however you like. So what else can we do? Well, like I said, we have this HP. Now it's an HP. I don't like it as much. It's a lot lighter weight, but you know, for the RAM you get, this is a pretty good deal. Just that Pentium is not too fast. So it's like this one's also like a meh. Then the Acer over here, much better CPU. But again, we only have eight gigabytes of RAM. It's really difficult to get all of that. I mean, you got faster Wi-Fi, you know, you got backlit keyboard, but what's the resolution on this thing? It's, it's full HD, but still it's slightly about the same price, if not slightly more expensive, depending on the options you get, especially since this only has eight gigabytes of RAM. 
So in my opinion, I would probably go with something a little smaller and spend a little more money. But if you don't want to spend more than like six or $700, this ThinkPad is still a good way to go in this day and age. And it still runs just about everything I throw at it other than some of the more modern games. But you know, I was able to play some of the Infinity Engine games, Pillar of Eternity, RPGs, side-scrollers like Rayman were flawless on this. The older Rayman, which one, Raven Evolutions or Revolutions, or I don't know what it was, the, the side-scroller. I played a lot, I, I, I beat it, uh, but it's been a while. So this is still the way to go. Plus, the thing that's different about this one is you have so many more ports. You don't get that many, you know, that many ports on the newer ones. And that's something I really miss. I did get a newer one, but I got a super fancy, you know, super fancy one with like 32 gigabytes of RAM. And it was a lot more expensive. I got it because I, one reason, it's much lighter weight. That's it. I didn't care about anything else. It's much lighter weight. And since I was going to back and forth from Japan and stuff, I wanted something that wasn't as heavy in my backpack so I could fill my backpack with other things and not go over any weight limits. You know, you get it. But this one is like twice the weight and it's got the big battery on the back so that makes it even heavier. This will play a ton of old games. It'll play tons of emulators. RetroArch works great on here. So it works well for that. And then on the back, you know, we have the full size ethernet plug, which a lot of modern laptops don't. I got the smallest one I could get that still had the full size plug. And then over here, we've got VGA, we've got SD card reader. My new laptop does not have an SD card reader. It's a, it's a Lenovo ThinkPad. Why? Like, why doesn't it have that? This has way more ports. I guess it's like really cool to not have ports anymore. It's like no one used them. I, I think that's the, the worst thing about modern computers and modern laptops is they're like, yes, give everybody three ports and they will be happy. No, no, stop it. If you're gonna charge a lot of money for a laptop, at least allow me to plug up some stuff. My bottom line here is this is good for people who want full control over their device, who want to be able to install anything they like, who want to be able to upgrade at will, but you know, you can only upgrade so far because these parts are old. There's a limit to how much you can upgrade. But if you want something that's tough, that's that, you know, still lasted me a long time, it works just fine. Um, and the keyboard feels amazing on these older ThinkPads, even better than the new one. I was surprised because they said they kept the same technology and the same design, but it just feels better on the old one. Don't know why. Um, upgrade the screen, upgrade a few things. If you're okay with the slower, just regular SATA speeds instead of the NVMe, that's totally fine for most things that you're gonna do, then yeah, it's great. I, I, I love it. It's a, I may, I, This is one of the best laptops I've ever had. and. Kind of going to miss it. The other one's quite a bit faster, especially for 3D gaming. You know, I should make another video talking about the actual differences between the old and the new just to see how different it is. I think I'll do that next. Anyway, so I do endorse people still getting one of these and souping it up and making it awesome. It really is a sleeper. It's pretty. And all the different port options you have. So nice. Um, not good if you're going to be lugging it all over the place you know, and keeping a, a full backpack. If you just have this and this, the only thing in your backpack, this plus a mouse, of course, which if you head over to Epic Pants, I got this right here. Pairs great with it because it's also nice and comfortable and it's not a tiny mouse because travel mice are silly because your hands don't shrink when you travel. You need a full size mouse like this. This is modeled after the Intelli mouse, but it's not the Intelli mouse. It's the standard issue. Anyway, I'll put that on sale for half price. Uh, coupon code is uh, um, intelligent mouse, yes. So head over to epicpants.com and you can grab this with the coupon code intelligent mouse. Uh, I'm glad you stuck with me to the end. I stuck with you to the end as well. Let me know what you think. Is this still viable? Do you think? Would you use this in the modern era in 2023? I would. If I wasn't traveling, I would not have upgraded. I loved it. And I know Justin still uses his all the time to do D&D stuff. He's a professional dungeon master, you know. You can hire him. Justinsanddragons.com. Okay, bye, everybody.